I'm going to uh, do another mechanism from um, the book uh, Mechanisms for the Generation of Plain Curves. I'm going to do um, a mechanism for drawing an ellipse, which we see here, and figure 138. Let me share my screen. So um, a lot of times for mechanisms, there's going to be something that's fixed and, and it's convenient to put our axes um, there uh, in order to get our, our uh, fixed point sitting there on an axis. Um, so here's what this mechanism looks like. It's a, um, it's a crossed four bar linkage to be technical. Um, and we're gonna put a distance from our point A from the y-axis, make that F, short for focus in a minute. We'll see we're doing an ellipse, so there should be a couple of focal points. Now we'd like this link needs to be the same length as the distance from A to D, so that's going to have to be 2F. And then these other two links have to be the same length. Uh, we'll call them both A. And now with that, we can watch our mechanism actually move by, by dragging. Um, the point that is going to actually trace the curve is the intersection of AB and CD. So we can draw that. I've got an extra thing selected here. Make sure I've got two things selected, and I'll have the intersection. And now I want to. I'm going to want to drive uh, the mechanism with some uh, angle or some some constraint. We're, we're making this angle here. Uh, that's called theta. Um, and we can see. That by default theta become is unlocked and so we can drag it whereas the other ones stay constant okay so we want to look at the we want to create the locus of e and for locus we specify what is going to vary and theta is going to vary um, now we'd really like it to go from not all the way around to 360, but um, just go through the 3.14. We get half an ellipse there. <clears throat> well, is it an ellipse? Uh, it looks like it. Then we can see what happens when we change A. We get gradually kind of flatter curve. Um, but to prove that it's an ellipse, we need to go to our symbolic um, a panel here, and we can ask for its equation. I click on it, we get its name, um, and uh, mechanical expressions will work out um, an equation for that curve. Um, looking at it, we see that in fact it has a, an x squared term and a y squared term and a constant term uh, that is indeed. Um, uh, an ellipse. Interestingly, the ellipse mechanism is considerably simpler than the parabola uh, mechanism.